dope dealing cops. Yeah, let me show you a picture of Twiddle D and Twiddle Dumb. Two Columbus police narcotics officers who worked in the division's cartel unit were arrested Tuesday by FBI agents and charged with selling fentanyl and cocaine. They were prolific drug dealers. The officers, John J. Kochkowski, 33 years of age, and Marco Marino, 44 years of age, were arrested on the basis of a criminal complaint unsealed Wednesday in the US District Court in Columbus. According to court records, both of these cops were suspected of being involved in the sale and distribution of about 7.5 kilograms of fentanyl. Marino is also suspected of taking bribes to help protect transportations of cocaine, according to court documents. Um, so remember, they are supposed to be undercover cops catching drug dealers. And they are in fact drug dealers themselves and engaged not only in drug dealing, but protection, transportation, as well as taking bribes, okay? This is all part of the unsealed documentation. The Columbus police chief, her name is Elaine Bryant, said in a statement that both officers have been relieved of duty. Now I wanna pause on that just for a moment. They have been fired, they have been relieved of duty. I thought this couldn't happen. Now, how many times have we seen a cop shoot an unarmed person in the back, especially black and brown bodies? And even though it's clear exactly what they did, even though everyone can obviously see this cop committed a crime, they're not fired immediately. No, 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 no. no. They have due process to be fired. Well, I guarantee you this, if you kill somebody at your job today and don't think about doing it, I promise if that happens, you will be fired. But for police, if they kill someone, shoot somebody in the back, they're not fired. But these cops were fired, proving the fact that it does happen. They were fired immediately when this broke. Okay, so the chief says they've been relieved of duty pending the outcome of the case. This alleged conduct does not reflect the values of this division or the excellent work being done by its employees. Um, I will say it again, when my officers do what's right, I will always have their back. When they don't, they will be held accountable. Well, I hate to break this to you, chief, um, but your statement is incorrect. Uh, this does reflect the values of your department. They are part of your department. They were senior at your department and they were given a position of significant public trust. You cannot separate yourself from the activity of those who are an expression of your agency. According to an affidavit filed in support of the charges, Marino is believed to have promised law enforcement protection to a confidential informant. He was trying to recruit to traffic drugs with him, including promising to intervene if other agencies tried to investigate the informant. Now, I wanna remind you, a confidential informant is someone who informs the police on illegal activity. Um, how stupid can you be? Now, obviously what they're doing is wrong and criminal and corrupt, but literally the uh, stupidity of recruiting someone whose actual job is to inform law enforcement of illegal activity is just beyond me. Uh, the court documents allege uh, that one of the cops accepted 44,000 in cash, protecting shipments of at least 27 kilograms of cocaine. However, the transports were not actually cocaine. It was part of a sting set up by the FBI. That's according to the records. His partner accused of being available over police radio to make any calls that was needed, including to other members of law enforcement. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I don't think it stops with these two. I'm just going to put that out there. If they can guarantee police protection, think about it. If they can guarantee police protection, 
then it does not stop just with them. Ravana, what are your thoughts? I mean, I couldn't agree with you more. These are two officers and it's good to see justice in this case, seeing them get fired and to be prosecuted. But again, these are just two officers. I mean, I can only imagine how many hundreds, if not thousands more officers are doing the exact same thing and getting away with it. And you know, in the form of justice, this is a small victory because real justice will look like systemic reform to the policing institution in this country, as well as solving the opioid crisis that has been killing Americans uh, just countless Americans for too long now, and no one's being held accountable there. Exactly. Uh, very well said.